Hi, today we are going to see how to cluster your data. When working with data, it may happen to have the necessity to group a set of data given a certain criterion. Whatever is the method, the process of defining groups of items is called clustering. Today we are going to see a very common technique of clustering, k-means clustering. The idea behind k-means is very simple. In step 1, the algorithm randomly selects k points as cluster centers, where k is the number of clusters you want to find. In step 2, it assigns samples to the nearest cluster center according to Euclidean distance. In step 3, the algorithm calculates the new centroid of all objects in each cluster and repeats step 2 and 3 until the same points are assigned to each cluster in consecutive rounds. But for a real case example, let's jump to MATLAB. We can start by loading our dataset.mat file, which contains our dataset. Then, by using the scatter free function, we are able to quickly visualize our data. How many clusters do you see? Well, for now, let's suppose that there are four clusters. To use the key means algorithm, you need to know a priori the number of clusters in your data. By adjusting this slider, we can set the value of k. In our case, we will set k equal to 4. We can finally call the MATLAB function key means that implements the algorithm. The most important arguments are three. Our data x, the value k, and the method for choosing the initial cluster centered positions. In our case, we will randomly sample key points from our dataset. This initialization is chosen with the name value pair start sample. Now let's call the MATLAB function key means and see what happens. We can also visualize the data using the scatter free function we have seen before. Are you happy with the clustering? If not, you can always change the value of k. It may happen that you have no idea about how many clusters there are. This is especially true with very high dimensional datasets. Fortunately, there exist different algorithms that may help you in finding the optimal value of k. For example, we can try with the Kalinsky Arabas criterion, which assigns a score to each possible value of k. The Kalinsky Arabas score is defined as ratio between the within cluster dispersion and the between cluster dispersion. The optimal number of clusters is the one associated with the highest value. In our code, we first run key means with different values of k, in our case, with k that goes from 1 to 9. Then, the eval cluster function is used to evaluate the clustering solutions. We can specify the kalinsky arabas method in this function to find the optimal value of k, but of course there exist other methods that MATLAB implements. Now we can run the code. As you can see, the optimal value of k is with k equal to 5. And here you can see the results with k equal to 5. k means is just one of the many algorithms that can be used for clustering. Each one of them adopts a different grouping strategy. For example, you may find interesting methods like dbscan, which searches for clusters based on the density of the data.